I've noticed my tyre is a bit low in tread, my back one. I highly suspect it's the original pair of tyres that's on this. The front one's got maybe double the tread depth left from the back and it's only done about five and a half thousand mile now maybe. So I shall have to start tyre shopping when I go back. I thought they maybe would have said that the MOT, your tyre's getting a bit low, but no. But then I've done 700 odd miles, 720 I think it was, uh, going to Sky with Lockwood and the folk and the crew. And I'll have done probably about 500 by the time I get home, between yesterday and today, so... Tires don't last forever, <laughs> unfortunately. So what tire do I buy? That's the thing. Do I buy a direct replacement? It's a Dunlop that's on it. Or it's a pair of Dunlops. Or should I try something else? I've already had Metzler's on my MT125 and then when I bought the YZFR125 it had a pair of Angel Pirelli Angels on it and they were amazing so when it was time to get the Metzler replaced on the MT I could only get the Angels I remember that was the, all that was available the only pair I could have, get, I could have got so I would maybe just go for a set of Pirellis again. I was quite impressed with them. Although I've not actually had a tyre I've not been impressed with. These Dunlops are pretty exceptional as well. So I'll look about, see what's the going rate for this size. I'm not even sure what size of tyre it's on it. Then I will probably replace the back one, then I might just buy a pair actually. Then I've got a front one for the next time it needs one. Then I won't have to pay carriage twice probably. So it's time for a new pair of shoes for the missus. And there they are. So I've got her going in in two days time to get these fitted. They're Pirelli Diablos, highly recommended by a fellow CB500F owner. Cheers Scottish Sosa. I'll let you know how I got on with them. So I keep meaning to tell you about this. I've actually been to Sky again with this keyring and never mentioned it once although it just means I was keeping my eyes on the road trying to stay alive in some of the sketchy weather I rode in uh, but no, a couple of weeks back, it was a Sunday I've just gone upstairs to brush my teeth and the wife shouted to me there's a guy at the door with a parcel for you and I shouted back something along the lines of all right, and that was it. So I came back down later on and there was an opened Jiffy bag. I thought, why has Donut or Jack opened this? But it turns out it wasn't actually a parcel delivery guy. It was this guy. So he was in the area and I'd asked him if he could send me out one of his key rings after seeing Grimm's with one where we were away with Lockwood. So he very kindly dropped over a nice woolly heart for the winter. The key ring obviously, which is double sided. A nice pin badge mounted on a card, very cool. And a very cool sticker which I'll be sticking on my sticker sign very soon. So, cheers for them, monkey.
goes up to monkey, if you don't know already. R6 monkey. Not just monkey. <laughs> Cheers again, buddy. Well, good morning, folks. I'm just making my way into Honda Glasgow to get a couple of new tyres fitted on the bike. And we're in mid November. It's a bit familiar to last year, if I'm honest. I've actually got a video titled something like Breaking in Tyres in November in Scotland. It's up the street. Yes, it's. Well, I should know. I was here yesterday. So I came in in the car yesterday and dropped the tyres off to save me strapping them onto the bike, then carrying them in. It would have been perfectly safe, but it would have just looked a bit stupid. So I opted for the go-in-the-car route, which was far easier, because it was lashing the rain as well, it was a horrid day. So here we are at Victor Divine. And here's hoping they actually remember that I'm booked in, because when I went in with the tyres yesterday, there was... No recollection of me booking in for the tyres for today. That phoned up last week for a price of tyres and they uh, quoted me £75 to fit them. They were a bit extortionate to get the tyres supplied, so I just bought the tyres myself, which was the same case the last time I needed tyres for the BMT. So hopefully I won't be too long here. Well, here we are outside Victor Divine Honda dealer. Very nice old school Goldwing in the window. That's a pretty good dealer, quite impressed with it.
the baffle out of this now. So this is the first time I'm starting it without the baffle. sounds like and hopefully get that red bombs challenge out the road before the year's out because it's bitter out there this morning it was two degrees the real fuel was minus seven the day I went for tires on this was the first day this winter that I had to scrape ice off my windscreen in the car an hour before I had to beat the garage with my bike but got there, hassle free, event free, <laughs> take care, peace out.